Starship its Rates at Checkout feature allows you to display shipping costs at checkout in your e-commerce store. In this tutorial, we'll run through how to configure live shipping rates or set flat rates depending on your requirements. We'll also cover how you can use rules for checkout rates to optimize your checkout experience. Starship it offers two methods of displaying rates at checkout, live rates and table rates. The live shipping rates pulls accurate costs from your courier company and displays them at checkout with options to enable and disable services or adjust margins if needed. Table rates are flat shipping rates that are set based on destination and weight conditions. Note that live rates are not available for all platforms and courier services. Before you begin, check out the About Live Rates at Checkout support article linked in the video description and complete any specific instructions related to your integrated platform. Once this has been done, go to Settings, then Checkout Rates. Head into Courier Configuration, then tick Enable Advanced Configuration. From here, select Contract Rates from your desired courier. The services you've enabled for your courier will be displayed, split across two tables, domestic and international. Enable the services you wish to display rates for. You can change the name if desired using the display name field. You can also adjust the rate using the margin type and values field. For example, you can add a margin to cover the packaging cost or use a negative value to make your rates more competitive. You can use the fail over product code to set a rate that will be used when the automatic retrieval service is down, one for international and one for domestic. To enable this, set the margin type to add amount, then the margin value to the total fallback shipping price. You can enable contract rates for as many compatible courier and services as you like. Save your changes when finished. To test your rates, click on Tools and enter an address under Test Rates. Select the relevant platform if it appears here. If not, select API and Get Rates. If the connection is working properly, you'll see rates displayed for the relevant services. To set up table rates, go to Settings, then Checkout Rates. Click Courier Configuration, then Enable Advanced Configuration. The most straightforward way to set this up is to use the Flat Rate Table Rates. You can use this section for all the rates you want to display, regardless of the courier. The fields here are as follows. Product code and name. These are mandatory fields. The product code is a personal reference and can be any unique number. Product name will be displayed at checkout. You can name this anything you like. The country codes, state codes and post codes can be empty if you'd like the rate to apply to all of the respective codes. You can list codes if you'd like to confine the rate to the listed codes. You can also hyphenate between codes to cover a range. Codes can be excluded with an exclamation mark. You can also display the estimated transit time for each carrier option to help your customer make an educated decision when selecting a freight option. You can configure your rates at checkout to display only during specific periods of the day using display start time and display end time. For example, when using a shipping on demand service, your courier may set a cutoff time of 1 p.m. for same day delivery. In this case, it will be beneficial to hide the same day delivery option from your checkout after 1 p.m. so that your customers can't select it. The shipping rates field is mandatory and contains the weight and the rate associated with that weight separated by a vertical bar. You can add as many rows as you like to refine your rates. In this example, I want to set up two lots of flat shipping rates, one lot for domestic and one lot for international. I'll set the product name to be domestic and international to reflect this at checkout. I'm shipping from Australia, so I'll set my domestic country code to AU and set my international code to exclude AU so it covers every other country. For domestic, I'll set orders up to 5 kilograms to be charged at $6.50, orders 5 to 10 kilograms to be $15, and orders 10 to 20 kilograms to be $22. I'll adjust my international rates to reflect the increased costs. Note that if you disable table rates, the information here will be lost, so it's a good idea to keep it back up somewhere. Our Rules for Checkout Rates feature helps you optimize your checkout experience. Here's how you can use it. For example, not all couriers will deliver to a PO box. 
You could set up a rule which says that if an address includes a PO box, then remove those couriers that won't deliver to them. Or, a customer might select express shipping at checkout, in which case you should set up a rule that automatically allocates all express shipping orders to a certain courier. To set up a rule, go to Settings, Checkout Rates, then Rules. Select Add a new rule. Choose the conditions that the rule should apply in. For example, by destination state or order value. Choose the action you would like to apply. For example, set carriers for checkout. Only displays the selected courier options on checkout. Click Save. You can test your rate configuration in the same way as you would for table rates or live rates. Make sure to check the links in the video description and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tips and tutorials.